What's that? You want me to spend $100 in a 100 yen store? Can do! They always get me in the doorway. They, every store in Japan, they put things in the doorway that make me stop. Look, look, this is a Ziploc bag for food, shaped like the head of a panda. What is this? This is a kitchen sponge shaped like a sloth. Oh my God, Alex, can zoo. What? <gasps> what is this? Is this a plastic folder that looks like a bag of potato chips? Look! From the Kenzu, you're meant to put them on your bath bottles. So you stick it over the top of, you know, like if you have a clear bottle of shampoo or something, you can put your own stickers, cockatiel body soap. I'll take that. Oh, look. Cool Otter Shampoo. Okay, well, I'm gonna take another one of those. And I'll take another one of those. And I might just take another one of those. Maybe one more. Please, can that just count as one item? It counts as five. It counts as five. Oh, Hello Kitty toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh, so cute. Oh, it's so cute, the Uh, for me, it's, <laughs> why is there a pink poo? I need to understand. Tell me your secrets, pink poo. Does make your poop smell like lemon? <laughs> I'm not even joking. I think that's what it is. Done. <laughs> Fine. Oh look, that's cute. I'm sure her poop smells like lemon. One color of the eyebrow pencil. Yep. They're all dark brown. I'm actually really, really struggling to hit $100. I have a completely full basket and I think there's about 40 items in there. So that's only 40 bucks. I don't know. I don't know if I should keep going or just stop. Like I wanted to spend $100, but I don't want to just buy things for the sake of it. I don't know. It's the next day since my shopping adventure and it was very, very difficult to spend $100 at a 100 yen store. Now, my total came to about, well, hang on, I've got, I've got my receipt here. Let me just double check. <laughs> 7,452 yen, which is about 75 US dollars, which is 100 Australian dollars or 98 Australian dollars to be precise. Now, if you're working on a 100 US dollar budget, you, you've got 15 more items to play with than what I got, but gee, I was, I was struggling. Like I got everything I could possibly want and need in this bag right here. It's very, very full. I've got a mix of, there's makeup, there's arts and crafts supplies, there's random things like, okay, let's just start. We have a drink bottle. Now remember, everything in here is a dollar. I got this drink bottle because it's, it's skinny and there's just something so aesthetically pleasing about it. It's just, it's just a tall, skinny drink bottle that says smiling. So item number one, does it smell? A little bit stinky. So make sure that you wash these things before you use them. Love that. Item number two, this was a great find. I actually think that this is for children. This is some sort of mat that's got hiragana on it. So this is the Japanese alphabet kind of system. And I believe that this might even be like a bath mat for children or something to help them learn. But because I'm trying to learn Japanese, it'll help me. 
there you go. Maybe it's a placemat for eating. That's so cute. So it's got hiragana, obo, echa, o. I don't know what that means, but here we go. So we've got a, i, u, e, o, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, sa, shi, su, se, so, etc., etc. And each thing has a little animal or a piece of fruit or something. So for example, for na, they've got nasu, which is eggplant. So this will definitely help me to learn my Japanese. Ah! Okay, our one dollar bottle has survived the drop test. We're filming outside. We're outside our hotel on the balcony at the moment. It's a little bit windy. I hope I don't lose half of this stuff. Anyway, animal sponges. I was just so drawn to the fact that there's a sloth sponge. These are kitchen sponges. Panda kitchen sponge and the best one, of course, everyone's favorite type of animal. Who doesn't love a sloth? And especially when it's that cute, isn't it? Ugh. No, I don't want to squish him. No, I'll squish the panda. Sacrifice the panda, but not the sloth. Okay, we've got lollies. 100 yen stores are full of snacks and lollies. These are little squeezy grape lollies. Anything grape flavored in Japan is guaranteed to be delicious. It's a little sachet like this, and you literally just tear it off. Great jelly. <laughs> mm. 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 These are little pieces of fabric. Now, I actually got this for an arts and crafts project because I was thinking that I could possibly use this lovely long piece of fabric, dissect it, cut it up into little pieces, and maybe make like pocket squares or something out of it. Like, so for example, it's covered in Shiba Inus, you know, the, the national symbol of Japan, the dog of Japan, the Shiba. So I thought if I lay this down, print out, an image of like a, a pocket and then I could trace it onto here and then cut it out and then I could sew like a little Shiba pocket onto my clothes. I mean, usually in Japan they use these sort of things. Sometimes they wrap presents in them. They use them for, you can use it as a tea towel, whatever you want, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some DIY projects with this in a video that's coming up soon. I also got, oh look, underwear, sanitary type. That's the only type of underwear that you want, sanitary ones. I just bought them because you can never have enough underwear when you're traveling. This was the only size available, a size double L. Let's see what double L is in Japan. Okay, that looks like a, like, like a small in Australia. Anyway, a dollar for underwear, fine by me. A cat coin purse, an essential when you come to Japan. There's cat themed everything in Japan. So I spotted this cute little guy. Amazing. Oh, this is a clear phone case. Now I bought this because I got some really, really cute stickers and I'm just gonna stick them all over that. I actually saw in Daiso some Dekoden. It's like, it looks like whipped cream and you sort of pipe it onto there and then you put little decorations and everything in and then you leave it to dry. So I thought I could possibly do a DIY Dekoden phone case in this crafts video that I'm gonna be doing. These were really, really cool stickers. These are like 3D textured tiled stickers and the colors were just so beautiful that I thought, I have to get those. I could even possibly put them on the phone case. So many possibilities. This this was a great find by Tiasha. This is a plastic sleeve that looks like a bag of potato chips. So I don't know what it's like on the inside. I don't know if there's any sleeves or anything in there, or if it's just plastic on the outside. Oh, there's two. There's two in the packet and it's just, that's all it is. It's just like a, a sleeve that you can keep paperwork in. But it, it's a giant bag of potato chips. Food themed everything is absolutely incredible. I guess seeing as we're on the topic of stationery, rainbow pens, it says slim color ballpoint pen in a whole bunch of different colors, a dollar for a huge packet of pens. Incredible. Where else would you find that? Maybe on Wish, but they probably wouldn't be as good as these. Looking at rainbow things, I also got this giant rainbow pill case. It's supposed to be a pill case, but I thought I could possibly keep beads in it, you know, like for arts and crafts, buttons and beads and everything. So that's what it's like on the outside. And then you open it up, and then it's got these individual little sleeves in here and each one of these comes out and each one of those opens like that. This would be great for organizing buttons and maybe little like crystals or anything, maybe for your nails, if you have little decorations for your nails. Ziploc bags that are shaped like pandas. Glorious. If you want to be the cutest kid in school, take your lunch to school in a panda head. Just like this, little tiny sleeve. And then he opens up at the back. Oh, here, he opens like that. So you can put your stuff in there. I wish, I kind of wish that I bought more of these because I think that there's 10 in the packet. 
So that'll, you know, get me through 10 little sachets of almonds for Archie and then I'm all done with them. So I'll try and keep them, I'll try and reuse them. Scissors, there's a magnet on the back of this so you can put it on your fridge and they're teeny, teeny tiny little scissors inside of a penguin. And you can keep it on your fridge. Another good find by Tiasha. It's a Shiba. Bow wow. So many things I want to do. Me in Japan. So many things that I want to do. He's adorable. You find Shibas all over everything in this country. They, they love their Shiba Inus. They just adore them. So you'll find them on socks. You'll find them on clothes. You'll find them on pencil cases and phone cases and everything. So this is also really, really thick. A very, very sturdy pencil case. Stickers. These are little food themed stickers. They're very, very small. But on the back here, it's showing me there's a water bottle, a can of Coke, a tropical drink, milk, Milk, cola, coffee, apple juice, fruit juice, grape juice, and orange juice. So I think I might even put these all over the phone case. I'm still to decide what I'm gonna do with that phone case, but this is a possibility. I can put these on the phone case. I also got these. These are envelopes, apparently. Gift envelopes that are shaped like cans of soup. So let's see what it's like on the inside. Ah, so it opens at the bottom like that, and you can put things in there. So on the back here, it, it says can envelope. <laughs> And it's got smart 100%, humor 100%, awesome 100% recipe. This is an envelope in which you may put mainly bills when something you give New Year's gift on New Year's holidays. And it says serving size one envelope. And then on the front, can envelope 100% paper style. Put it in here. Milk with corn creamy. I got this because I just, I have so many questions. It's a pink poo. It's either a bath bomb or you put it in your toilet. I'm not entirely sure, but it does say lemon. So it either makes your poo smell like lemon. I, I, I need to understand, but feeling it in there, it feels like a bath bomb. So uh, I don't know if they come in different colors. It looks on the back here like they might be different colors. So I'm hoping that this is the pink poo because pink poo is my aesthetic. Pick these up. This is pastel kara paper, pastel colored paper. And on the back, it's got different colors. So I think that these are all the colors that are in here. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I don't really have any use for paper these days because I just use my phone to write everything, but I'll think of something crafty. It's a very, very thick stack of paper too. So for a dollar, you get a huge amount. There's a whole bunch of cards in there. There's so many bird themed things in Japan. It's incredible. Uh, these are all exactly the same. I got a whole bunch of them because when else am I gonna find bird themed shampoo labels? It's literally, there's a cockatiel, a budgie, another budgie, mine, his and hers, a mustache, lips and some bow ties, a body soap cockatiel and then two budgies for shampoo and conditioner. So if you have clear bottles, maybe you reuse the same bottle or something over and over again, you can put your own little labels on. I just, I had to get heaps of them because you know, you, you never know. You might need an emergency cockatiel body soap at some point. I also picked up a bunch of these. This is a calendar that looks like a giant iPhone. So it's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it doesn't go through to the weekend, but it's essentially a calendar. And I think it's a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. So you can stick it on your whiteboard or something like that. I just got this to help me with content planning. And I got four of them because there's only four months until the end of the year. And also all the others were black and I only wanted the pink ones. I was really, really happy with that. I feel like this is very practical. And speaking of practical, I got a, a toothbrush holder, but I, I thought that I could use it as a makeup brush holder. It's really basic. That's, that's it there, just like that. So you just put your toothbrushes in there and they stand up straight. So I thought maybe if I have a couple of really pretty makeup brushes that I could put on display that I use really regularly. And I might try and bedazzle this. I could even put Decodan or crystals or something on there. A dollar, why not? And it's acrylic. I also got these. These are erasers that are shaped like food. I think I've got another pack in here somewhere. At the top here, we have taiyaki, which is like a, a battered, sort of almost like a waffle or a pancake that's got azuki bean inside. This is, I don't know, it's like a, a leaf that looks like a taco. That's a green tea. There's a bowl of possibly azuki beans or something. There's, I don't know, I don't know if that's like meant to be a dumpling or what. And then dango, dango, it's like mochi kind of rice balls, glutinous rice balls. And then we have ramen and we have another interesting looking dessert and another dessert. They're all erasers. So back to school items from 100 yen stores. Super cute. We have a little strip of lollies. It looks like there's a yogurt. That's a yogurt flavor. Hoifu looks like it's got strawberry and apple and a couple of other flavors in there. This is cola cider, lemon scotch. Lemon scotch, maybe scotch. White soda, 
And then this one is chocolate by the looks of it, like M&M kind of things. So just an assortment of lollies, only a dollar for all of those. Are you getting tired yet, guys? There's a lot in this bag. A Hello Kitty toothbrush. Could be for children, could definitely be for an adult like me. It's actually, it's like a case. And then I think it's somehow you can put this part back inside. So good for traveling or good for children or traveling if you're a very cute adult like myself. These are just little bowls that you can use for soy sauce or you know, maybe you want to put your earrings or something in them. I don't want to break them. They're wrapped in bubble wrap. One is a panda like that. Absolutely, absolutely adorable. And one is an anteater. You never see anteaters. I, I don't know why they thought to do this. You know, you always see cats and fish and various things on soy sauce bowls, but not an anteater, so had to do that. Put them back in there so we can take them home safely. And then the rest, I think all of the rest, yeah, everything else, look in this bag. Look. That's all 100 yen store makeup. So, I mean, I can probably just run over what it all is, but I feel like it almost needs its own dedicated video, maybe like applying. So what I'm wearing right now is a full face of drugstore makeup, Japanese drugstore makeup. I feel like I could possibly do like full face of 100 yen store makeup because this is $260 worth of makeup. That is maybe $20 worth of makeup. So I'll just quickly show everything what I got one by one, but then let me know if you want to see that on its own. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's everything. That's it guys, that's everything. I think I will do a full face of uh, 100 yen store makeup because there was so much stuff there. There were 32 items, so that's $32, which is insane considering what I'm wearing right now was 260 US dollars worth of makeup and it all looks about the same. Not sure how it'll apply though, so keep an eye out for that video. If you like this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. There's heaps of Japan content coming. We have a lot of shopping videos coming and some how to basic Japan videos too, working out how to navigate around Tokyo, how to use the train system and things like that. Anyway, don't forget to head over to Instagram. It's pretty pastel, please. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!